Hello and welcome back to the Refined Teenage Perspective. I'm Arun Goshalia and I'm joined by, once again, Veer, Sandhu, and Johar Ali. Hello. Hello. So today on, well, first of all, what episode is it again? I, ah, I can I never remember. Six? It's six, five or six. Yeah, Four, I think it's six. six. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because I remember us putting, anyway, yeah, number five six. into the title. But um, yeah, so it's yeah, episode yeah. six. And today we're, we're, we're going to talk about something kind of different. We're going to be talking about conspiracy theories. And we've all chosen one conspiracy theory to talk about. And we're just going to kind of like go over why that conspiracy theory exists and kind of how conspiracy theories uh, formulate or start, you know? Yeah. So um, to start, I guess, we I guess we can just get started right away. So... Uh, the Can we first, just first go over what a well, what an actual conspiracy theory is and like what they how they how yeah. they like generally come about? Yeah, so, so that, I, I, I feel thing. like like everyone who's listening probably has heard one in their like lifetime, or they might not know it's a conspiracy theory, but it technically yeah. is. It's basically, th- like uh, it's like when an event happens and it leaves a lot of mystery behind, so the public makes stories. They just gather. There's no like s- certain facts that specifically prove it but they can you can kind of like put the pieces together and come up with your own like not like like because like the your thing own is, interpretation of it yeah it's not really like a, a conspiracy theory is different from like a scientific theory they're very different even though their names are similar because like a, a scientific theory is a lot of things to back it up and it's yeah, there's actual research um there yeah. to back everything the, the, up. This, mainly this conspiracy more... uh i was gonna say conspiracy theories are mainly born when Either there's a lack of scientific theory, like actual like evidence yeah. that we can base our uh, beliefs completely on, or is that the scientific explanation is simply not sufficient enough? Like, you know, like, I don't know, just someone is, they they just feel like it's incredibly uh, implausible that a, su- a specific way, like sp- a specific sequence of events happened for this event to occur and you know they're like all right you know what i don't think this makes sense let me just say that it was aliens and then uh, yeah because basically like people will always look for what you call it like explanation like if there's no explanation then there's just going to be fear and like confusion which is like really bad for uh, literally everything so that's that's another reason why conspiracy theories exist because it gives answers even if those answers are like have a chance to be false and are built off speculation. Humans so need one, that kind of one thing, one thing I want to note in this episode is we're not it, when we're talking about these conspiracy theories, we're not telling you what you should believe. There's a lot of uh, people who actually believe these conspiracy theories, and that's not necessarily wrong. Our whole goal today is to bring kind of like the fact, uh, like how do conspiracy theories start and why they are the way that they are. So yeah. we don't want anyone to think like, oh, what your opinion is is wrong or like dumb in any way which is because it's just not that's not the case we just, that's not i'm joking no. i'm joking okay anyway so we so i don't know <laughs> All right. i had we had no preparation for this I, I like uh, uh let's do malaysia flight 37 here okay right, so yeah. yeah so that that's the, the the theory i'm going to be talking about so again we each have brought one so this Theory is basically um, again a Malaysia the Malaysia flight 370. So it was a flight that just basically disappeared. So it was I think it was March 8th, 2014. So this is like over this is, wow, this is over seven years ago. And basically it again departed from actually I have the flight path right here. So it departed from yeah Indonesia coming back to Malaysia, which it which was the normal flight path. But then it went over the whole country. It made two radar contacts. One was north of Malaysia. Then it went past Malaysia to the east and made another radar contact there. So basically, I'm not going to go into like the technical stuff because it's not really important for this episode. It's not about aviation. We're just talking about how this theory like uh, came to be. And there's there's a lot of um, speculation, diff- different speculations to what actually happened. People say that it was actually hacked and redirected to Antarctica by another... Uh, country or it was just shot down but then again if it was shot down there would have been some kind of signal on the on the radar so basically it just disappeared off every kind of uh, every radar in the world and there's been searches going on uh forever and actually just this morning i saw 
a video and it, it said that they might reconduct the search because of a piece of evidence they found on east of Australia. So they might actually start the search again. They, they were like searching for a really long time, but then it was all in vain because they, they basically had yeah. no evidence. They on, searched, uh, uh, I was just watching a video about it. They searched like 4.6 million kilometers squared of area and they couldn't find anything. And then like, I think it was like a year later or something. They found an airplane, uh, air, air, airplane flap, like um, like one of the things that on the wings that like conduct yeah, whether it's like going up or down. Yeah. And and they found it like some some coast uh, like towards like like towards the west, right? And they found that it was like in a state that indicates that the plane might have been in a downwards dive into the ocean. You know, there were the, the cool thing about the, so in airplanes they have um what, what's that little box called that they um that's indestructible oh, yeah. in an airplane and it kind of records everything that happens or yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that. I think it's called a little black box, right? It's in but, ships um, too, isn't it? I think so, yeah. But I, I don't I have no idea. I'm I think I, I know for a fact that they're in planes. But it's basically a little box that I think it records or everything that happens and it basically is indestructible so you, you, I, I, can like can, I can still think that can be really useful because if they find that yeah they yeah have they have evidence it. they can analyze what happened but, but even if, so even if the plane crashes that that'll never break apparently something like that but i remember i rem actually remember that search happening and it was like i think you said yeah it was a long time ago but i remember there was um about like i I think a week or a month in somewhere in that range they they were starting to hear um like feedback from what sounded like the black box mm -hmm. and it ended up being um what was it i think it was like a, a whale or whale noises or something like that but oh. it, 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 it it's kind of i i don't know i i just that's that's not relevant though I, my point is it, it's kind of cool that um the, there's like that indestructible little black box thing in every plane and stuff but they just never found it and i'm pretty sure that's also one of the uh like leading um so like there there's a lot of other plane conspiracy theories it's actually pretty popular and i'm pretty sure a lot of the leading evidence to as to why people believe in those conspiracy theories is it's an indestructible black box but no one can like actually find it but then you also need to uh, like realize that because it's indestructible, it's made out of really heavy materials, and a lot of these planes clash in the sorry yeah. cla crack in the middle of the ocean, so it's probably sinking all the way down. No, but uh, like even if even if it goes to the bottom of the ocean, there's still a chance they can find it using their technology, and they search for a really long time. Yeah, they, they use sonar. They, they they still are searching actually. Yeah. I, I yeah. don't I think you are they because I thought they no they, like, no you just it. said that they stopped but you said they might resume they, they right? started right right now but they it was they were, they start they might start searching mm. again but yeah. like it hasn't there's not like a large scale search that that's been happening that that it, stopped a long time it ago. happened in 2014 like a couple months at like yeah it, it, it stopped it, a couple the, months after the event so it, but but finding planes like that takes a long time because I I also remember that same news broadcast. They asked this professional who basically they, they look for, or like this group of professionals, they look for planes and stuff like crash and stuff, or something like that. And they said, like, there was this plane that they found recently and it took it, it took them four years to find like just yeah. four years after it went missing. And it's been seven years and they still haven't found this one. So it, it takes yeah. a very long time to find these things. That's crazy because, yeah, we can see images of planets, mil like not millions of light years away, but actually like insanely far, far distances away but we're unable to find things in our own oceans using sonar technology you know no but th that's that's the like there's a lot of uh, political the, theories as well that like the flight was redirected yeah. by the u.s to their coast or something like that because if that happened th you can actually think of that being plausible because then you, how, how are you going to find something on the ocean that's not there yeah if it, uh, if it landed true. somewhere else then, no, but they but did then, find something of it washed up on a coast. So, yeah, but people people think that's like planted evidence and stuff to make you keep believing. Yeah, oh, there's so many questions that you can come. You can you can like not trust anything. You you can you you can even not trust that this that this theory is even real. That this was all made up. Again, honestly, that, like, and I I, I can yeah, believe this theory too because like with the tech like with the technology that we have. You would expect for like planes like that to be found really quickly, or they'd have something else in a plane. But you just said they plane. found one after four years, anyways, though, right? No, I know that's what I'm saying. Like it, it can go both ways, is what I'm trying to say. Like it, it's it's a believable theory because like 
it's plausible, it, but it, 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 it just uh, to me, I, I don't know. I, I don't think like I know it's very possible because I think before before we started this episode, you said there was this plane that um someone I think was it Malaysia crashed it into where again purposely? Oh oh that okay hold on let me Indian search. Ocean. This was another um it crashed into an Indian it. Ocean. No no they they crashed it they crashed or they flew it over not crashed it sorry they flew it over some country or something I can't I'm, remember. Yeah okay, hold the, on I'm gonna flight three seventy. No 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 it was a di- I think it was a oh, different okay one. this was Malaysia it was flight seventeen it says this is this is still speculation it says it may have been shot down by. Uh, I think pro-Russian separatists that I think it, it was a surface-to-air missile that uh, shot it down. But hold yeah. on, let me just um, I'm gonna go and search this up again. But, but. anyway, the, the the point is like I I'm pretty sure um people people believe that whoever was flying that flight they did it purposely for polit- whatever political reason they may have had. Um, when when you find out who did it. Yeah. Okay. So it's oh. a, it says that it, yeah it was flight uh, MH uh, seventeen so Malaysia flight seventeen. Is, so this was this happened um the same year that the main flight three seven zero got lost. So this is a different flight, and it says that it was uh, shot down because it flew over Ukraine for political purposes. And there's there's a lot of people that um believe it, but there's there's again there's there's more theories that it, it was hacked by some other nation. I don't know who, but they took it and flew it over um Antarctica. But that's like a very like sci-fi oh, or like outlandish guess, yeah. Yeah, outlandish. Yeah, I, I don't, know. I don't That's know about even that, more but... speculation, but and I, I think because a, a lot of people think that because okay, it was in 2014 that the radar technology was not strong enough then, but like the military has what the, the stuff that the military has and their like technology and equipment is way more advanced than what the public gets. Yeah, didn't, didn't like, the military have access to GPSs before it was made public? Yeah, they they had everything like. Even the internet was made for the U.S. military, and then they made yeah. it for the use of the public after. But they, like, it, 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 who knows what they have now that they're using? We don't even know about. Like, you really, you'll never. You, it's really hard to know. I think that's you know, why before like, it comes out public. That, that's obviously the reason why they keep everything secret. Is if they mm-hmm. do, then they can go into that. That's that's what happened in the Cold War. They didn't tell. They didn't. They kept everything under. Like they didn't say it to anyone or they didn't bring any eyes to their developments because if the enemy got ahead of it then they could build something that would completely counter it and they would just put all their like development and research to waste mm. well i mean yeah i don't i, mean, I don't know i so, it, it's, it's this is one of the more believable theories because again yeah there, there's no like there, there's there of... are some like there's there's some gray area but it's just it's kind of like a like it's not really straightforward, but it's kind of like one dimension. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's just it got lost, and we're trying to find it. It's not it's not like complicated. Yeah. Like it's uh, yeah. there's two sides of the story because there is no story because no one found it. But what yeah. so yeah. should we? Yeah, should, I, I should personally find, find interesting. Hmm? The other oh, after what you say, we should I think move on. No, to no, the no, no. Uh, it's not relevant. I was just gonna say I find it quite interesting and spooky. I don't know. Oh. That's how conspiracy theories have always made me feel like. I don't know. I feel like that's also one of the points of conspiracy theories, though, right? They're trying to, it's 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 a, it's trying to make it's try, yeah. It's, they're trying to make a story out of it. Yeah, and and it, get, it gets people thinking, so then they you know, talk about it like we're doing today. But I feel like conspiracy theories is also like a uh, like a gold mine for news outlets and stuff. Yeah, that's, yeah, so that's true. Hundred <laughs> percent. Like, the day like a good conspiracy theory comes out, like the press will have a field day or something. Anyway, yeah, yeah they, cause th- that's that's what people want to read. People don't want to exactly. people literally even if if it's like a proven fact, people won't care about it. If there's speculation and yeah, mysteries, intrigue, opinions, you know, then then, gotta... then it's fine because pe- people like bringing their own like uh, I don't know, yeah, opinions and opinions, more yeah. Story. yeah, that's why. And again, but, there's a lot of mystery and it's like kind of yeah. But um, anyway, so let's move on to the uh, second conspiracy theory. Uh, Jordan, do you want to go? Uh, I do not. Do you? Not really, but I, I guess I'll Fine, go. Fine, you go? I'll go, I'll go. Okay, so mine is a very popular one that was... I don't think it's as popular anymore, but it was back in, like, um bef- like 2010-ish. Middle, mid-decade. Actually, no. Yeah. So um, mine is basically, and I'm sure everyone's heard about this one, it's about the uh, Illuminati and it, whether it's real or not. So um, to start... So... The Illuminati is actually, I don't know, a lot of people don't know this, but the Illuminati actually was a real thing. It was a yeah. real group 
of um is like a secret society basically it's exactly what it says i have no idea what their goals were i've been trying to figure that out forever and i can't so i don't know but um and uh, there's something cool about this that I'll, i'll get to but um so basically the illuminati was a group and it was known as the bavarian illuminati so it was a secret society that operated for a little less than a decade it was from 1776 to 1785 and it was an or in the organization was founded by this guy called by not called sorry by this guy named adam weishop i I have no idea how to say his last name but he was basically he was a he was a german law professor who believed strongly in like enlightenment ideals and by the way all this information is coming from vox so whether you trust vox or not take it as you will but i'm pretty sure that all of this stuff is fairly real based on like they have like in linked stuff in here so i can like open any of this but anyway um basically uh again i have no idea why he did what he did i'm pretty sure it's written here but i i i can't understand it it just doesn't make sense to me but um so people think like the illuminati currently like they control the whole world and they control politics news outlets stuff like that I don't know. Again, I don't know if that's real. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it is real or isn't real. You can believe what you want. But that's that's one of the main things that people believe in when it comes to the Illuminati. So uh, that's something that so that that's actually that was never the case back when it was actually a thing, though. It was just some secret society. That's about it. And then later, I said that it so it was a society that like operated from 1776 to 1785 the reason it closed down was because of this um the the duke of bavaria his name was Karl theodore he banned all secret societies and which also included the illuminati and he made it so that they're like really bad i don't know what the punishments were but he made it that they were really bad punishments for anyone who like joined those secret societies wait what, what year was this 80, 1785 okay. Yeah, this is 1700s. So okay. yeah, and then um, so basically, all all secret societies for the I think for the most part probably they they got closed down. And if you believed in them or not, sorry, if you did not if you if you join try to join any secret societies, you would be punished pretty bad. Okay. And um, so for the most part, the Illuminati's disappeared, and a lot of people tried to kind of revive that idea of the illuminati but it, it, most of it ended up just being um like a money-making scheme mm-hmm. right so Makes now sense. um come now coming to recent times uh the reason people still heavily believe in illuminati has a, a lot to do with pop culture ah. and um you, you i think there was a big thing again like back in the 2010s or something but uh, rappers like Jay Z and Kanye West, they held up like triangle signs, right? And that's like the the main symbol of the Illuminati is the triangle with an eye. So obviously, people started like talk going crazy and oh talking, yeah, saying like, that celebrities oh, are part of the Illuminati. Yeah, celebrities are part of the Illuminati, and like the Illuminati, uh, they they run like the politics and the media and basically all of that. Mm-hmm. And I again. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's true or it's not true, but that's just what people believe in. And yeah, Sounds that's like about it. So okay, okay. It, it got it got sprung up a lot by pop culture. That's about it. And now it's just a giant conspiracy theory. People believe whether like the Illuminati, the Illuminati actually does um, run the world or whatever. But uh, the cool thing about it was that I was going to say is the Illuminati actually spread other... Um, what do you call it other conspiracy theories and one of the main ones is that there are lizard people who run the world and if you know about this like lizard people thing then you would have definitely heard everyone knows mark zuckerberg the founder of facebook oh. everyone believe people believe that he is a lizard person lizard. because yeah a lizard because just and i i think the main reason it, most of it is like jokes but yeah. there are actual people who believe it and I think it's because he, the way he acts in public and the way he changes emotion and stuff looks a lot like someone who isn't human. So, okay. yeah, that's just something yeah, he, he, that... 
Wait, people okay, how about this? People I have call introverts like and alien. Thing. I can probably answer it myself, but if if there was like a like society running the whole world as like one unit, like they control politics, news outlets, everything, information, do you think that would benefit society or be like? I mean, it depends on their views. So I, I again, I have no idea what the Illuminati's views were. I I I I don't understand. Like I, it's written here, but the problem is it just doesn't make sense to me why someone would make yeah, a what, whole. Yeah, what what were the Illuminati's goals society. in the first place? Okay, I can read it out to you. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, then we could, uh, like, speculate what okay. a modern so, take of the Illuminati This so. This Vox website is called Nine Questions uh, About the Illuminati, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nine Questions About the Illuminati You Were Too Afraid to Ask, okay? And the question number two is, what did the Illuminati believe? I'm going to read out the, the whole thing, okay? Okay. So... <clears throat> There were two sides of the historical Illuminati, their odd rituals and their ideals. The Illuminati did plenty of unusual things. They used symbols like the owl, adopted synonyms to avoid identification, and had complicated hierarchies like novice minerval, minerval, I, I'm sorry, I can't Minerva? Read, and illuminated, uh, mi- and sorry, there's something called illuminated minerval that divided the ranks. In the beginning, uh, hot up, um, hot up is, I'm pretty sure, a historian. I don't know his name is chris hotup yeah and he's the co-author of conspiracy theories and secret societies for dummies so there you go that's who he is so he said that the illuminati members didn't trust anyone over 30 because they were too set in their way over other reports of rituals are harder to confirm confirm sorry but we know that members were very paranoid and used spy-like protocol to keep one uh, one others one another's identity secret sorry but while they were following these bizarre rituals, they also promoted a worldview that reflected enlightenment ideals like rational thought and self-rule. Anti-clerical and anti-royal, the Illuminati were closer to revolutionaries than world rulers since they, got, since they sought to infiltrate and upset powerful institutions like the monarchy. So there you go. Their goal was basically to... Yeah, it was just like another revolution that would happen in yeah. France or Russia in the near future, but... But yeah, and then it ended up basically, you know, shutting that, down. That 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 part for not trusting over thirty is actually kind of funny, but it kind of has some. Yeah, like, I, I feel like I feel like yeah, I I'd use that logic if I were to create a secret no, society. No, but no, but no, but people people over thirty have way more experience than you know people under. Well, 30. they said they didn't trust people over thirty because they were too set in their ways. But does that mean like okay, if you were in the Illuminati when you were like twenty four and now you're over thirty? Well, no, no. Well, then you're then already what? in that way, and they want someone in that. The yeah, Illum- yeah. They're, they're Illuminati. saying That's that people, I, thinking, after but, thirty, people get like fixed on a worldview and they're not going to yeah. change it. There's no point talking to them. That's what they're trying to say. I mean, I like, feel I like that's really true, accurate. But, Lo- like, no, but there's, there's going to be like anomalies. Like not everyone. Yeah, well, yeah, but like, like how are you supposed to tell? Like they don't have like a like a standardized Illuminati test. If you pass this, you no, can get no, in. No, but like, a good a good test could be, okay, people, are, again, people over 30, what thing, uh, what party do they vote every election? If they're fixed on their ways, they'll only vote one regardless yeah, of whether it's bad or not but if they're like dynamic they'll just change but, but then, then again, again that... it could be like oh one party is just objectively better so exactly we could just keep voting that and it wouldn't uh yeah, yeah. but like so like the uh so wait wait so, so on, their on, main like, goal... sorry not like on oh sorry yeah you, you can go uh, I'll, no, I'll no, close so, so their main goal was it was literally i guess it's just a revolutionary thing like they what wanted kind to of like pick, pick, pick away monarchies and not they yeah. don't want to have like that uh like monarchies they, they are wanted, basically already yeah, gone they, anyways but they wanted to rule the world basically oh no, br- like really? in, in like a more uh better they they, they, yeah. they they would think that their way of ruling is better well because yeah that well. happened in things france and russia too like because they what what monarchies did it was like okay there's like kind of like classes like if you're mm-hmm. born into royalty yeah you get like wealth and an easy life but if you're not then you have to work and you don't get paid well because the government will just tax it, and it's they, they were like that's so unfair. And then now the revolution happened. Even even in America, like they they brought that their the constitution in instead of a instead of some the other Commonwealth Confederation, and that changed it as well. But I think that I that was a like those um the the ideas of revolution were kind of they they kind of made sense, but the way they did them, the yeah. like the, the execution was, really was bad. yeah, that was something good. It's like if you don't believe in my thing. Now, all of human history has always been like that. It's always been some kind of ideals where you could look at it from a certain viewpoint and be like, 
oh, you know what? Maybe that's not even a terrible idea. And then you see that they killed millions of people in order to get it done. And like, oh, I mean, that's literally how World War Two was. That's so. literally how almost like like ninety percent of wars started off started off like that. Or Why just some World kind War One of... start again? The Prince of Austria oh, got killed, yeah. right? Yeah. And then that started yeah. like some kind of. <laughs> it, it was literally it was literally all because, of, because it was because of alliances. If there wasn't any alliances, it would be a war between two countries. But then it just became the whole world. Yeah. But anyway, that's that's not important. Yeah, but what I was trying to say is, yeah, so unlike the um the the Malaysia Flight Three Seventy One, that that um conspiracy theory was set based off of, I don't know how you would explain it. Just people, I don't know. People believing in like a certain, I yeah, just speculation basically, right? Just mystery. But I I think the Illuminati wasn't based off mystery. I think the Illuminati, well, and it's actually kind of clear, it was based off solely off pop culture and got famous again because of pop culture so it is kind of different ways that conspiracy theories like start and i i don't know if it's even popular anymore oh one other thing there's a facebook account for the illuminati mm-hmm. that has uh three million um oh, followers or I, I don't know if it's friends or for whatever they use on i don't use facebook yeah but yeah it has 3.4 million something whatever the equivalent to ig yeah. Yeah. is is and yeah that, that, that's and it. Wait, wait. no that, that's, that's it that just it, because people believe mark zuckerberg's uh, like part of the illuminati or is a lizard guy so oh, wow. but, you know do you think that like like a, like a secret society like that that heads everything as one unit would be good or bad to the like nah, like if, if, the, if their views were like good like i don't know good in our sense like i don't know democratic they but i mean everyone has different uh, views so how, that, how, that, that's how true, you, but, no, the but, only difference yeah, between a secret but, like, society and is and the other societies is that one is secret that sounds so stupid but like i mean that's kind of true that's no, literally then, it right? there's only there's only like one day oh, one, work as one mean. unit so then there's no no yeah that's not even stupid that's uh, you, you that was that's literally it like, yeah that's what, literally what's the difference it. between the government and a secret society one well just... i mean the government also has the fun, well, like then, the backing then, of like, the yeah. entire population well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's the difference between like the cia and uh, secret societies you know yeah, yeah. One's one secret, one's more public. That's it. They can have the exact same views, but who are you more likely to trust, the CIA or? Yeah. I, well, I guess that's based. I on I mean, your own exactly. Views, I think the fact that but... they are secret is what define is maybe is why there's an incentive to follow them because they are secret. I I can't Probably. quite put my like finger on it, but like maybe the reason to like I don't know be part of a secret society is because it's secret and not just because you don't want other people like knowing and. St- like because there's gonna be consequences from the government knowing but like i don't know maybe it's like i don't know when you're when you're when you've got a different world view or you're trying to manipulate the world it's you're never gonna do it by being part of the public right you, like it yeah. the fact is that the only there could be a secret society there could have been a secret society for the entirety of world history but no one would ever know and no one would ever care because it's all just a speculation anyways right so like but if someone like the cia were trying to i don't know basically control the world but they're public right obviously nothing would be done because everyone knows their goals because they know the fact that they exist but like for example if the illuminati was still a was a, an actual thing and it was still existing in the way it was meant to be then first of all no one would know it right because you can't really guarantee it and that's who you if you could never guarantee it or specify their existence right then you would never question the world that's going on around you because you just think that's just how it is, even though it might be architected by someone else. Maybe that's exactly the reason that they stay yeah, secret. Yeah, no, because, because if you think like that, it makes the, your answer simple. It doesn't overcomplicate things, and that's what people look for. Exactly. Things that are simple and to the point. They don't need any technicalities or whatever. But yeah. I think that covers that theory, and now we really? just have to go for yours. Basically. Is, I mean, okay. is there anything else you want to add? I don't... I think it's yeah i think we covered everything for that but all right. yeah well all right. what's yours door pop I, I culture's most recent target area 51 oh uh, okay really i thought you wouldn't do something else but okay yeah, i was yeah, gonna yeah, do right. heaven's that's, gate cult but like that's the uh the e- one that was one yeah 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 Lil Uzi Vert, yeah yeah i remember that but I, yeah I okay still want to talk about it but we can. We have time. We yeah, have a we ton could. of time. Okay, let's talk about Area 51 and then Heaven's Gate cult because I feel like that's interesting too. Okay. Okay. Um, especially their ideals. Um. So Area 51. How do I describe it? Um. 
it's a well, secret what is area 51 <laughs> it's a oh it's a it's just a military base that is meant yeah. for experimenting with aircraft and well military technologies and it, it's also very secretive so it, yeah. it, it's in um nevada where is nevada. it southern nevada. nevada yeah it's in it's in nevada right and um no one actually know besides i think most of the military actually doesn't know either but there's only a set group of people that know what goes on in area 51 mm-hmm and uh, that gives a lot of people reason to believe that there's like alien experiments going on in there. So much so that a couple, uh, two, I uh, think oh, last yeah. year or two years ago, people decided to raid the Area 51 base. A million people. And uh, more than, a, I think it was like, um, can someone search up how much it was? I have no, I I have no idea how much it actually was. <laughs> but a lot of, it was like a Facebook thing and like a Facebook event. And uh, I think uh, lots of people decided to go. And then on the day that it actually happened, only like a thousand went. It, an actual, like a group of people actually went. A hundred yeah. people went, and before that, oh yeah, hundred. Two people got arrested actually searching the base. So were they ever found again? A lot of attention, but it was. I I I'm surprised honestly. I I, I expected like one or two people to go, but I'm surprised two people even got arrested. No, but I, th- I like there was way more people that signed up on the thing because people thought I, it was like funny. I swear mm-hmm. I remember like 20 million people signing up and then there only so many. Yeah, but 100 100 people actually showed up to the thing. Like 100. That's actually a lot of it's a military base that if you're allowed to, if you step like grounds on, you're ultimately ultimately wow. Oh. I was trying to say if you step grounds on, you're automatically um uh going to jail. And yeah. if you fly yeah. over it, you're going to be chased by like fighter planes and you'll be sent down to the ground. That's crazy. So, yeah. That is, um, oh, yeah, it is a military base, so I yeah, guess but like, still, expect. like, w- I don't know, like, w- what it, w- like, first of all, do for example, does the American military really believe that no matter how secret their base is, like, like, uh, I don't know, like, some plane flying over them is going to extract an insane well, amount of information that'll lose them the Americans, but the war, he, uh, a uh, war. Uh, uh, one, one plane, okay, so one plane that went over uh, the um, Area 51, it got pictures of what happened in Area 51, or well, not what happened, but it got pictures of the base of Area 51. And I think the it's reason they don't now. want people taking pictures and stuff like that is because they don't want like other governments or other spies and stuff to learn their secrets and stuff. Yeah, that's exactly why. But yeah, that's but that's the why it's secret. secret but, like... People started believing that there's they're keeping like aliens there, and that happened in many movies, like in uh, Independence Day, in, in the, the the first yeah. one, in they took the aliens inside Area Fifty One, so it was like a like a piece of it was like I don't know a piece of entertainment. You you can call it for like a long time now, and people just kind of believed it just a because of, it's a military and it's secretive but yeah a lot of like media facilitates movie. area 51 uh theories but like to getting down to like the real meat of it i guess like what do you think about it just area 51 aliens there i don't, I don't think, think it's, it's real I think it's just i'm gonna a, be a, you really yeah. think yeah. Okay. you can believe what you want to believe like maybe there's stuff we haven't covered but the reason i would say it's just a military base because it makes sense that they want to keep it secret. Like, for example, if a plane flew over it and got its layout and everything where all the, like, sectors are, they could plan an attack much easier. Mm-hmm. That for is for all I know, it's literally a, a, a but military the, manufacturing place. It, I, I actually have no idea. Area 51 I, I, is literally on I'm, Google I'm Maps, sure, though. I'm pretty sure they used it, it is, on the... Um, it is. But they probably... Search it up. Oh. I literally searched no, it up no, this but morning. The reason, well, no, the location the is planes, not... Can you, like, see No, it? you can see it. Sorry, man. The see. reason um, I think they this. don't want planes because they can like I don't know they they can drop like payloads that they don't want to be dropped over it like you don't mm-hmm. know what that plane could be carrying or if if what it, what it's uh thing that is, okay yeah, that that's or, a plausible but seriously but to make sense that they would keep it secret because if you like even if someone in the public just finds out like what, what, I guess it's good to like give the public the truth but what is the truth gonna do to them like why would they care what kind of plane they're developing what is that gonna do because it settles. Like, I don't know, maybe you'll, the public will have more trust in their government. No, but oh, wow. no, think about it. Even even if there were, like, it, aliens, would you... Do you think that the... If if the whole public found out, what would happen? Huh? People would just go crazy. People, people, people even, would legitimately like, go crazy. No, actually, yeah. to be honest, 90% of people would not believe it. 95%. Unless they show it, yeah. No, it's like, called no, the homie airport. No, <laughs> yeah, homie airport. Like, people will literally see and say it's just a scam for them to get our money. 
Or yeah, it's just a CGI or something. Yeah. I mean, people. I mean, people don't be. believe that. People believe the moon landing was fake, and they say that okay. was CGI. That is. I, I'm sorry. That that's something. The, that, I, I, know. I I know in the beginning I said there's something. I won't judge see, you. No, no, no. Just see, CGI when it like when when was this? This was like before 1960. Yes. If you look at CGI, CGI back that, then I, was. It uh, was not that. It was not the nicest or not the most realistic. Once no, it, people I, say they that, just not, made. It was, it was probably harder to um make that CGI at the time than actually go to the moon. It's probably easier yeah. to go to the moon than make it fake. But, um, I don't know. I'm looking at it. The, oh, there's nothing wait, interesting here. Know, it's just a bunch of planes. The, the, the whole even stuff one. To, go, to go to the, like, all the, 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 going, like, going to the moon and stuff. It was literally all a race for the Cold War. Like, yeah. they don't do it anymore. There's no military pressure. But if, if once there is, then they're, then they're going to start the race. You know what this looks like? It all just started. For the, if if anyone wants to know what, you can just search it up on Google Maps. It, it, it just look, but it looks like, it looks like the, uh, the, the LSIA in GTA. Yeah, dude, that's, yeah. There's like literally it a long exactly, airstrip. Exactly. There's one I mean, long airstrip here, if, another, if, like if the it, racing one If it does resemble here. an airport then, but. I think there's like underground components as well. Yeah, I wouldn't even I be surprised hoping. if GTA based their uh, the LSIA on this. It looks almost identical. No, I see not, the hangar over identical. here. The only thing that doesn't make sense is this big block of like buildings over here. That that is that wouldn't be there normally. But they had the little ovals on the ground and everything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so. You do you see like that big lake like north of it? Yeah. 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 Wait, wait, is that a lake or is that like an underground facility? I feel like it's an underground facility. I, Emigrant Valley. I I can't tell if it's a lake or not because it's just so dusty over here. Yeah. There's a lot of these things. I think it's like a, a small lake or something. Yeah, I, I don't know. I really can't tell. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, wait. I, cause, oh, um. I think it, it makes sense that they're keeping it secret. Like, I don't think that, the public shouldn't be like scared of it or like I don't know, be like feel unsafe because if if it's if that's it's just how aliens are. are. They're yeah, scared of what they don't know. Exactly, but then again, it's kind of if it hasn't caused. I mean, it has caused some like not not like disruption in society, but like the raid thing that that was kind of a joke, but. It was I only say, 100 people, to be honest. I don't think you know. I I think there's really nothing going on there, besides you cut Sorry, out. besides normal military stuff, yeah. No, I, I purpose, I choked on something, but um, I think that the reason they're not telling anyone now is because it's literally just gonna call ca cause like a a complete um, what do you call like chaos? Uh, yeah, chaos and like the media is gonna go crazy. To, like social media is gonna go crazy. Like it, it's just gonna be like dumb stuff is gonna happen. Yeah, someone's gonna do something dumb. Where's your proof? And then. Yeah, like, take pictures and board. then they're gonna say Area Fifty One raid part two. So I, I, I don't know. And then people will be murdered when they enter. Yeah. But that—that's the reason people said it was like it's kind of like it was not a good idea to, to like I don't know schedule yeah. that. Oh. it's just. By the way, yeah, yeah like, if if that. if people were to actually so when when I said a hundred people went to the base, they all all they did was stand outside it. Mm -hmm. If you go inside it, I know I said you can be arrested. But they also can kill you if they want to. Yeah, because yeah. you can't just enter like a mil. It's like trespassing, but like taken to like levels above. Yeah, it, that's know? a yeah, insane degree. The uh, there's been like a kid who entered there once, right, or something. I don't know I how just, a kid got in that. there. I just know there are those two people who tried navigating the base as jokes, and they ended up getting arrested. And I don't know what happened to them since. I think it, it literally says "do not enter." So, but then again, who people? Won't even there's know there's a sign. About um, like I think it, a a little bit away from the base that says turn back, and I oh, think yeah. it's like a good mile, like not a mile. You know, I, uh, I don't know. There's somewhere a lot a of YouTube away. videos of people yeah. like going near the base for like I don't know for like content purposes, but when they drive them there, they have to be blindfolded and they have to turn off their camera because they can't like I don't know see any. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. If, if, if the public gets like e like let's say it's like something to do with the like some aviation development if, if they get it and then they post it on the internet then yeah you know then other countries enemies can see it. get it so it makes sense that they don't want to see it but it's not going to be it, it, i i don't actually think it's anything to do with aliens and even if it was keeping them there is probably yeah i know right probably, like yeah. even though it, even if there is aliens why if like why the most obvious spot 
Like, it literally yeah, makes no sense. It, it, no, but it, would, it would make sense, but it's somewhere I, Honestly, if they find other life, it's not going to be, like, a fully, like, like huge, like, a, like a big organism. Yeah, like, it, it's probably yeah. going to be, like, a little cell. Most likely, yeah, that's life. what I'm thinking. But, like... It's not going to be, like, a full... Uh, the universe is billions no. of years old. And we're... Our planet's only 4.6 billion years old. 9 billion years of things that could have happened, you know? Like, you never know. Mm-hmm. But we, we, we only like scratch the surface of exploration here. So even if we do find aliens, it's gonna be from like a like a long while from now. But I think if we do, it's not gonna be what it's not gonna be like the movies, not at all. I think our next episode just, should be about sci-fi, but like like literally like like we could honestly we could we should have tied that into this episode. Yeah, actually. that's what, what I was thinking. But like but no, aliens, but that, that, that more than aliens. Yeah, not exactly. Yeah, we sci-fi, but like partially sci-fi. science, partially fiction, and some sci-fi. Yeah. But anyway, uh, uh, thank you for watching. Um, how do we do these outros again? We have our socials in the description. Yeah, we have our social media in the description. Whether you're watching this on Spotify and YouTube, um, they're not in the description yeah. on Spotify. Yeah, and tune in next Sunday. It's not Saturday. It's Sunday when the episodes come out. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. it. Thank you for watching. Bye. I'm gonna go edit this now. <laughs>